Hey guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a sneaky mod Scratch. So let's get started right away. So as you guys can see, I created a two sprites, and um, one of them I made a square, and one of them is green, and the other one is red. So one of them is for the sneak, and one is for the apple. Please follow the same steps, and now we're going to get coding. So the first thing we need to do is the direction. We need to make the snake move. So I created a variable called direction. So let's say when right key pressed, then um, set direction to right. Sorry about that. Now let's repeat this process three more times. Left and left. Good job, guys. Now just two more times. Up and down. So up and down. So now it's time to program what the direction variable should do. So let's drag a one click block and let's say forever if forever if direction equals blank, um, then do this, which is what we're going for. Direction and go to the operators and get these get this equals block right and change x by five because x is for left and right. So once again, change x by 5. You can do any, you can do uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's just going to make it faster and faster. Left, it should be the opposite 5, which is negative 5. And um, now it's time to drop it down. Uh, um, we should change y. So change y by 5. And down is opposite. So let's do negative 5. The boring part. We're going to get to the fun part later, which is the gameplay. So now this should work. Let's just make sure that we start off with 0, 0. And um, when we start the game, let's set direction to right. So it automatically starts going right. So as you guys can see, this is the basic movement for a snake. It tells the direction of what we're going down, up, left, right. OK, so now it's time to do the code for cloning and apples. So let's just test out and just say create clone of myself. So what this does is it just keeps creating clone of myself, which is what we said. But we should only do, we, it should only create clone if we touch the apple. So now let's get to that. We, let's create a variable called length. Length for all sprites, not for this, not for this sprite only. And um, let's say forever if touching, let's go to the sensing box and say touching sneak like that. And um, let's say Touching stake, then change length by 0.1. You can do 0 0.001, which will be even smaller, but yeah, set length to 1 when we start. And so we said create clone, but we didn't say what happens, so we're going to define the create clone and what it should do. Let's say when I start a clone, wait length seconds, wait length seconds and um, there's a function called delete this clone so let's click on that so what this should do is um it should only create a clone if we touch the apple oh yeah um one more thing let's make it go to a random position so let's duplicate this and remove that one click forever if touching then go to one click go to Pick random, so it's just gonna go to a random place in the coordinates that we choose. So pick random, go to y or x one two three hundred, y one two three hundred, and let's do this there too. So now it should be a perfect, and as you guys can see, the snake game is successfully working. Good job, guys! We made a successful snake game. Yay! So now when we touch the apple, it becomes bigger. Good job. You can add more features, this is only the basic game. You can add like one click forever touching edge, then um, stop this game or stop all scripts or broadcast game over, something like that. So yeah, this is such a fun snake game. They made a cool game now. So I'll be posting tutorials only once a week from now on. So if you like this video, please do like, and sh like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I did spend a long time recording this. So yeah, thank you guys.